Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the kind of video that I love to make the most. I'm just gonna bring you along with me over the next week, show you everything I'm eating, explain a little bit about why I'm eating those things. This is also my first like what I eat video in our new house. So I'm really excited to show you the new kitchen, the backyard, and kind of just let you come along with me. I have recently switched from eating one meal a day like I've been doing for the last three years with my weight loss and maintenance and now I'm eating two meals a day and that's been a bit of a transition for me. I talked about it in my previous video if you want to hear the reasoning behind why I've switched to two meals but in this video I'm going to just show you what I'm eating and what that two meals a day looks like, give you an idea of portions. If anything, I hope this just shows you some tasty meal ideas that you can try or maybe something that you might be able to implement if you're feeling stuck or not getting the results that you want. I am still fasting weekly, even though I'm now eating two meals a day. So I tend to have my last meal be Sunday for the evening. I like skipping eating on Monday because it's my busiest day and I just don't have to worry about eating food on that day. And then I go until lunch on Tuesday. So today I am breaking my almost 42 hour fast and I am gonna be having this New York strip. It's actually frozen, I forgot to set it out. Uh, and I really like breaking my fast with beef. So I'm just gonna cook it from frozen. And the good news is on my Cinder Electric Indoor Grill, I can do that. So I'm gonna put this in the grill. I'm going to go back to work for the next couple of hours and then it will be perfectly ready to go when it's time to eat. I took the meat off and I am heating the grill up to sear. I actually took a little baking grease and put on top so that it will sear nicely. And then we're gonna throw our steak on. This steak weighs about three quarters of a pound. I think it's like 0.7 something pounds. Uh, I'm putting some nice chunky flaky salt on it. I add lots of whipped butter. And this is about like around a pound is really all that I'm enjoying comfortably anymore. So uh, this little steak is obviously not enough for me for the entire day which is why I've added in that second meal. But look at that. For my second meal today, it's about 5.30. I try not to eat much later than this, but it really just depends on my work schedule. I'm having two scrambled eggs and a bunch of bacon. I try to keep it a little bit smaller than my first meal was, but definitely enough to keep me full, so I'm not gonna be hungry until tomorrow at lunch. For lunch today, I'm going to have one of these cute little baby ribeyes. This is two steaks that are under a pound and a half each. So old me would have eaten both steaks plus a big pile of shrimp plus a, plus a ton of butter. I honestly think if I tried, I couldn't eat both of these steaks at one sitting anymore. So I'm gonna have one, which would be about three quarters of a pound of a steak. And then along with it, I'm gonna have a bratwurst. The bratwurst I'm eating for lunch today is just your typical grocery store bratwurst. I try to pick ones with the cleanest ingredients, but it definitely is not perfect. Uh, I try to have them only occasionally because of that reason. Whether or not they're right for you or if you eat them is really up to your goals and your health conditions and how clean you need to be. We live in Arizona, so thankfully we get to grill outside all year long. Uh, actually in the summertime is when we spend most of our time cooking inside because it's like 120 outside. So sometimes a little too hot to grill. I need a better wide angle lens on this. Uh, meal for today is this little baby steak today, bratwurst, and then I will definitely be hungry to eat again later. I'm gonna put some butter on it, salt, same deal as yesterday. Today for my second meal, I am not at home because, what did you guys have tonight? Jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu. The kids had jiu-jitsu and I finished work off my last call, ran out the door, uh, and I didn't wanna wait until all the way when I got home with them to eat, just cause that's gonna be really late. So I am eating a bag of carnivore snacks for my dinner. These are my favorite ones, these are the pork. Um, these are, dried meat. I'm not really sure how they do it. It's different than jerky, but this one is just pork 
and salt. They have like a lot of beef options, but it's literally like a flaky chip that tastes like pork and it has a little bit of fat on it, which is amazing. And sometimes you get ones that are like a lot more fat and like dark meat pork tenderloin pieces. Mm. So most of this bag probably will be my dinner. Lunch today, I am doing some air fryer chicken wings, which I have recently become very obsessed with. Um, I will just put, I actually have like over a dozen wings. I, I don't know how many I'm gonna end up actually eating uh, and put them in the air fryer at 400 for around like 20 to 25 minutes. The key to getting air fryer wings really crispy is to get them very dry first. So I dried these off with paper towels and if you had time and wanted to go a step further and we're looking for that perfect crunch, you could take a cookie sheet and a cooling rack, set all your wings on it, put them uncovered in the fridge for a couple hours to let them really dry out and then they're gonna be perfectly crispy. I love wings because I get to eat a ton at once, but they're actually not very filling, so there's no way that only eating wings would be enough food for me for the day. So I'm gonna see how many wings I end up eating and then we'll base my meal later today on how hungry I am. I just seasoned them with adobo, uh, which is one of my favorite seasonings that I use pretty much all the time. Uh, and then I usually put a little more salt on them when I'm eating them, kind of like on the insides. Sometimes I do use a little bit of buffalo sauce or even some sour cream for some kind of dipping sauce, but it kind of just depends on how the wings came out and how I'm feeling that day. I'm not usually super worried about spices and seasonings as long as there's no sugar in them and try to keep it more of an occasional treat. But here is my first tray of wings that came out. Super crunchy. For dinner, I am gonna smoke and crisp some beef bacon, which is kind of hard to find, and I'm sorry. But my butcher, I buy a whole slab of beef belly or beef navel from him. I have a meat slicer, so then I can just slice it myself. Before I bought that meat slicer, he would just slice it for me, but it is really just beef. It's uncured, raw. I will salt it, and I'm gonna, I've made it in the oven a lot before, or just in the cast iron skillet, which is amazing. But I'm gonna put it in the smoker for about an hour and let some of that fat render give it a nice smoky flavor. And then I will crisp it up. And this will be a really great way to get some fat in. All right, here we go. Some crunchy, smoky beef bacon. I have had a super hectic morning, so plans have changed a little bit. I'm really hungry and didn't want to wait any longer to eat, so I just made myself uh, a half a pack of bacon in the air fryer and then two scrambled eggs that I'm going to eat really quick and get back to work. I am doing an early dinner tonight. We are going to a seven-year-old birthday party this evening. I have no idea what food's going to be there. I assume it's not going to be something I can eat, and I really don't want to plan for it or even wait until afterwards just because that doesn't set me up for feeling good and satisfied when there's a lot of tempting food around. So I am gonna eat that other ribeye that was in that two pack from the other day. I put it a few hours ago on this little cookie sheet on a cooling rack in the fridge open. I'm gonna cook this steak on a cast iron skillet and having a dry surface like this is gonna create an incredible crust. So that's why if you have time, it's always good to let it sit out for a couple of hours. I don't use a cast iron skillet method very often, mainly just because it's a lot of mess, but today it's what I have time for. And sometimes a good cast iron crust sounds really good. I'm gonna be using a Bluetooth meat thermometer inside of the steak to make sure it comes out perfect and I don't overcook it.
This steak is just under a pound and I will definitely be able to eat the whole thing. And then when we go to this hectic seven-year-old birthday party later, I will not be tempted by anything. Today is Saturday and Chris and the kids are out at a morning jujitsu class. I am home working. After class, I think they're gonna go get some burger patties and eat those for lunch, but I'm not gonna wait that long, so I'm gonna do the fastest, easiest, laziest meal that I do, and that is microwave pork carnitas. The ingredients are really clean. There's pork, water, lard, and some seasonings, uh, and I throw this in the microwave. I will put it in a bowl with some sour cream, shredded cheese on top, or I get these cheese wraps, and I'll make myself like a little taco. Uh, they're the best and I literally just put it in the microwave for three minutes This and then some version of the same thing with beef uh, In like shredded beef or ground beef is a pretty much a staple for our family Especially for quick weeknight meals and then there'll be lots of leftovers that Chris and the kids will eat tomorrow with our lunch as well I am still working today. I really haven't left my desk all day uh, except when I went and ate earlier. So I'm gonna eat here now. I don't like eating super late, so I'm just gonna eat while I work. And I'm just eating the small bag of carnivore snack beef sliders for dinner. Uh, and I grabbed a couple tablespoons of butter and I'm just eating it like this. Usually a night like this, I probably would have just done bacon or some bacon and eggs, but I think it's just from all that pork and cheese and sour cream earlier. I definitely am wanting something lighter tasting or feeling or really simple. Uh, and I'm not wanting dairy or anything like really heavy uh, and bacon just didn't sound good. So something simple like carnivore snacks. The pork ones I had earlier this week are like really flaky, but these beef sliders are definitely like a crunchy chip. Today, Chris is going to have a ribeye that's about a pound and a half, and then he'll eat the leftover pork carnitas that I had yesterday. I have some flat meat, which is similar to like a skirt steak that we're going to throw on the grill. And then I'm going to attempt my first time making, I saw like a cream Parmesan Alfredo sauce almost, where I'm going to do that with my sauteed shrimp. Uh, and we'll see how that turns out. And then the kids will pick burgers or steak, chicken, whatever sounds good to them, and we just throw everything on the grill. We are making shrimp and some kind of like Alfredo sauce. Yeah, we're not following a recipe. Everything I found had some sort of like white wine in it or ingredients that I didn't want to use. So uh, what are you doing right now? I'm chopping up some garlic for mom. Okay, so we're chopping garlic. I have a little bit heavy whipping cream, and I'm grating some Parmesan cheese off the block. Uh, I also have like salt pepper to go in it and then I have cream cheese on standby. We'll see if I need a little bit. We're going to check out the consistency. Um, I'm probably the only person that's going to eat it. So uh, I'm just going to try to make a small amount. Okay, put in your garlic. Okay, put the shrimp in. Do the same thing with your spoon or your knife and just scoop it in. There you go. Yep, dump it all in. No, one more big pour. There you go. That meal was so good, uh, but very rich and very heavy. I ate half of that big piece of steak and about half of that sauce and shrimp and was completely, completely busting. Um, I have a feeling I will not eat another meal today. It's just based on the amount of, and the richness and the dairy and everything that I just ate. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video now. I am going into my 48, 42 to 48 hour fast that I do weekly. So my last meal is Sunday and I will eat again Tuesday. Um, it's just what kind of helps me feel best. It's a good mental challenge for me. It's a good break for my body. And that's kind of why I tend to eat the most on Sundays, which just means it's a, it's a nice break for me to not eat on Monday. 
Overall, it has been a transition for me. I have been doing two meals a day for the last three weeks. And I would say for the first two weeks, the scale did not move at all. If anything, I was just going up and down like the same two pounds for the last two or three weeks as my body got used to the transition. And this week, uh, filming this video and over the last six days, I have lost four pounds. The first two pounds of that was during my 42 hour fast, but then you know, previously I would just gain those right back again. This week they stayed off. And then over the course of this week, I lost another two pounds. So I'm very happy with it. Uh, I think it shows that I'm getting my body to a better place right now. I needed consistency. If I had been doing two meals a day for two or three weeks and lost zero weight and just got frustrated and had a cheat day, I never would have experienced that like whoosh that I'm having this week. So it just goes to show you have to continue to be consistent Having that cheat day is not going to help you in your weight loss journey. I used to tell myself all the time that your body needs to like remember what it's fighting. You need to eat pizza and ice cream. <sighs> Never worked. But I'm very happy with it. I think this, I'm excited to see where I go long term. Uh, I'm still looking for that right weight for my body. What's a good healthy place for me where I don't have to do super aggressive fasting or any type of restriction. I can just stay carnivore eating, you know, one or two meals a day, whatever feels comfortable uh, and maintain my weight. I'm looking for that perfect number still, but I'm excited to find it. As always, thanks so much for watching. It's been fun to put out regular videos again. So hopefully I'll be able to keep it up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments below what other types of videos you'd like to see. Thanks.